This is for identification only and not broadcast. Ask the professor number one, uh, dang it, 2049. <laughs> Begins five seconds from Mark. And I forgot my timer. And Heather's missing. That's all right. She'll be back. Okay. We'll, 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 we'll go slow. <laughs> the University of Tower Chimes bring in another session of Ask the Professor, the show on which you match wits with the University of Detroit professors in an unrehearsed session of questions. And I'm your host, Matt Mayo. And let me introduce to you our panel for today. To my southeast, it's Professor Beth Oljar. Hi, good to be here. Thanks for being here, and thanks to God that you are not in the southeast of the United States right now, which is a hot spot for the coronavirus. Well, right. Yeah, well, you know, welcome to scientific objective fact the hard way. It's, uh, <laughs> it's really interesting to read the news every day and not really see anything necessarily new. Um, but the numbers are not playing very well, even in our state, where we've got things clamped down fairly well, considering the rest of the country. Yeah. I don't know if you agree yeah. with that or not, Beth. <laughs> what was that? Oh, I don't know if you agree if our state has things uh, clamped down fairly well or not. Uh, I think a lot better than a lot of other states because we have. A governor who's you know paying attention to science and uh and the facts but you know i guess we should be glad that the president hasn't sent his stormtroopers into detroit yet as he has in my hometown <laughs> that's right portland unbelievable but i appreciate the text that you're sending about the wall of moms and the wall of dads the Wall of Dads had their leaf blowers to blow the uh, poison gas away from the protesters, and I think that that's right. awesome. <laughs> that's my favorite thing. How um, the cameras to catch what was happening, too. Absolutely. So they couldn't cover up. And they had signs that said, Fathers Against Fascism. I love it. That's awesome. Anytime a group of people show up and they've got coordinated t-shirts, like, I'm tuning in. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Uh, Professor uh, Stephen Manning is here from Political Science. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> Are you more comfortable now, Stephen? I'm trying to, you know, <laughs> as I said, treacherously close to cocktail hour. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> right before we got on, Stephen, we were conjecturing about the possibility of us all downloading the app to our phones and then just all being in separate cars during the dream cruise and just trying to do an entire episode. <laughs> yeah. A little bit too much. This is a little low. Yeah. But there's no dream cruise. We mean our own dream. Yeah. Professor Maggio, do you think there's going to be a dream cruise? Of course there no, is. They can't. Well, uh, they canceled any official, I think, sponsorship or activity, but you can't prevent everybody from driving up and down woodward if it gets too out of control maybe they'll just close woodward down the, like they usually do i am going to assume that's going to happen sometime relatively soon yeah absolutely so and so even if they try to do that that would be as exciting as the dream cruise itself so i'll <laughs> still take my chair over to woodward and watch <laughs> the festivities a lot like, of it always took place kind of unofficially anyway right right I mean, in the early the days day. yes yeah yeah my kids equate that part of the cruise, considering literally the moment it starts to warm up, we start seeing people with their lawn chairs on Woodward. Um, they equate it uh, when they shut Woodward down as a fireworks show because they get to see the police rip off those flares, you know? Yeah. <laughs> kind of cool. <sighs> uh, Professor Heather Hill is here with us today. How's it going, Heather? Good. How are you, Matt and everyone? Just hanging just... in. Living the life. What can I say? Hi. Yeah. Um, I have a couple of monarch butterflies in my oh. bird. Yes. So, making does, me that, happy. does that mean that you have some milkweed in your gardens? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Most excellent. We actually saw one in our backyard a couple of weeks ago. We definitely don't have any of that. And I was like, well, they're already up and moving. What can I say? Pretty interesting. 
Now, uh, Professor Mara Livesey was actually out doing yard work, you said, before you came on to the show? Oh, that's right. We're finishing up painting the back deck and cleaning out the garage, organizing, spraying it down. <laughs> that's kind of a big <laughs> deal. You, you've uh, brought that house from, uh, from purchase to livability in a very short period of time. Oh, you know, that's right. I mean, I'm not just going to be sitting here <laughs> doing nothing. Also, I need a break from, like, you know, making course content. Yeah, <laughs> good point. Once in a while. Very, very good point. Very good yeah. point. Uh, Professor Dave Chow is here with us today as well. Pleasure to be here, as always. Excellent. Thanks for coming, Dave. All right, show us what you sketched during our first recording session. You always Nothing, I'm, I'm just taking notes. Just, all right. you know, our, just this. Okay. Okay. Nothing, nothing scandalous yet. No hedgehogs or anything? No, I, Heather's birthday doesn't come up for another year, so I'm That's good. Right. That's right. So, oh, we'll have to hold tight. So <laughs> I'm just jealous that she's got monarchs. That's all. Oh, yeah. We yeah. actually, was it three weeks ago, we had 18 little caterpillars on our milkweed. Mm -hmm. The milkweed was getting decimated, and now we're down to zero. Oh, that's yeah. too bad. The birds may have gotten them. Oh, yeah. We are like the Robin and Cardinal Buffet over here right about now. All you can eat. <laughs> we are uh, very happy to say that uh, our academic vice president and provost, Professor Pam Zarkowski, is our guest panelist for today. Again, we're glad to have you, Pam. And I am most honored. This is an esteemed group. And after our, our first recording, you know, your, your real estate has even gone higher. <laughs> <laughs> we have real estate? <laughs> yeah, for those, like you're at the lake house today yeah at the lake house that's right nice. <laughs> referring, to, referring, referring to us that way is proof that she has started her cocktail <laughs> yeah, mm. it's true. so i'll just say dave you talked about having robin and cardinal uh, at i'm not at this place that uh, the folks uh, on the panel can see but we like to entertain all the deer we kind of have a buffet for them they like to eat all of our, they, the rabbits and the deer just love everything I plant. So come to the, uh, you know, our buffet in the morning and, and just enjoy yourselves. Then I think they, they have cocktails on our deck. That's what I think yes. they do afterwards. Yeah. Well, folks, uh, depending on what your animals eat, this is a program where you can send us questions regarding anything. If you stump the panel, you win a prize. If you don't stump the panel, you win a prize. You can send us the questions in a number of ways. You can email us at atp at udmercy.edu. Reach us on the web at udmercy.edu slash atp. Find us on our ever-growing Facebook group, another few people added over the last week, or listen to your favorite smart speaker by asking it to play Ask the Professor at University of Detroit Mercy. So Matt, did you introduce everybody? Did I just zone out there for a minute? Uh, I thought I did. Did I miss someone? Uh oh, okay, well, no, the hour no. is late tonight. So. Okay, so I just no. want to make sure everybody got their moment in the sun. You know, I, I, don't, I guess I zoomed out there on Zoom for a few minutes. Okay, that's all right. Thank you. Did you get Beth? Did you miss Beth or get Beth? I thought that I did Beth first. She was in the southeast. Oh, okay. oh, that's right. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for stirring. Did you get Dan? <laughs> yeah. I did. Yeah, I kind of hopped in there on the dream cruise. <laughs> oh, okay. so I'll take that. You don't We're have to with you, Heather. We're with you. Uh, <laughs> we're all confused. I I have been on Zoom since seven thirty a.m. Oh. Whose fault is that? So let's try this on for size. What? Dear Professor, with the political scene as volatile as it may have ever been. I wanted to lighten things up by coming up with a list of presidential nicknames. I hope you can use the questions and they can bring some cheer to your crew as much as they give a few laughs during such uncertain time. Warmest wishes from Valencia, California, our friend Frank Burroughs. Thanks for sending these in, Frank. So can I ask Steve a question? So that's an interesting uh, uh, introduction to uh, that. The, the times that we are in, but to put that in perspective, are we really in unusual times or has this been played out over and over again since the beginning of politics in this country? How is what we're experiencing now any different than how it has been? Is it really that different? 
I would agree with you there, Dan. I think what's happening now isn't so different from what's happened before, but I think politics are more polarized. What does the political scientist think? Yeah, yeah they're certainly more polarized. Well, you know, one big question is if Trump loses, they're already talking about this, to what extent is this a kind of a permanent thing in our politics, or to what extent will we kind of like a rubber band snap back to something that resembles normality where people, um, you know, actually talk to each other in a relatively civil way. You, 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 I'm assuming you know what happened on the floor of the House uh, yesterday for an hour. Um, that's certainly unprecedented um, ever. But uh, it's an interesting question. Uh, hopefully we'll, uh, opportunists that they are, you know, uh, leaving the president a little bit, disagreeing with the president on some basic issues, uh, including the, the next uh, 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 yeah. rescue package. Yeah, yeah the Lincoln so Project's been pretty amazing, too, as far as yeah, I was going to mention the Lincoln Project. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Pretty interesting. Led by, among others, uh, Kellyanne Conway's husband, who was one of the first uh, and remains one of the leaders of that group. Right. Yeah, that's fascinating. That that is fascinating to me. That that's, I guess, been a lot. I don't want to say it that way. Been allowed to go on. Makes yeah. you wonder what the real reality is when you see things like that that you think should not exist. Anyway, yeah, I'd like to. I'd, I'd like to be in the fly in the wall in the uh, in the, the Conways cocktail hour and dinner. Mm -hmm. oh, cocktail hour, yes. I thought it was cocktail hour. Get another cocktail hour reference. <laughs> no. Well, we could wow. say pillow talk. I mean, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're right. I'm. I haven't had dinner yet. I, I'm sorry. We're going to list some presidential nicknames, and you, I'm going to be asking you for the president. The human iceberg. <laughs> Hoover. Coolidge. I would have thought it was Coolidge. I would have thought, but it's not Coolidge. Uh. Taft? Wilson. Not Hoover? Human iceberg. Run for I'm sorry, Lincoln? Pam, what was that? Lincoln? No, no. Although that kind of fits a little bit uh, too. Yeah. yeah. No, these initials are B H. Benjamin Harris. It's an Harrison. Harrison. Benjamin Harrison, yeah. Harrison. I, I don't exactly know how that applies because all I really have are the matches here, but uh, we have a political scientist, so I'm expecting, you know, Stephen to oh, yeah. get everything out here, you know. <laughs> how about this nice. one, Stephen? This one should uh, get the, the train running again. How about the great engineer? Wilson. Oh, uh, FDR. Mm -mm. Uh, uh, engineer. You just, said, uh -huh. you just said his name, uh, Stephen. FDR? Mm, no, before your previous response. Oh, um, Hoover. Yeah, that's uh, Herbert Hoover. Really? Yep. He engineered quite a lot of bad stuff. <laughs> How did he get that name? He didn't say he was an engineer. He was yeah. good or bad. <laughs> he, built a dam. Off the track. he built a dam, didn't he? Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> it, I feel like I'm back in my, in my freshman but He probably freshman he probably With said, I said, I, I don't give a damn, not build a damn. <laughs> yeah. God, I'm, God, I'm going to miss it so much. <laughs> this, um, this next one I actually learned um, from Beth Oljar uh, because we were talking quite a bit um, back in the, um, the Bush years, uh, as in the W. Bush years. Do you remember which president, Beth, you had told me was nicknamed Your Fraudulency? <laughs> Nixon? Mm -mm. Someone who won a cont uh, highly. I told you that. Yeah, you you were the one saying that this president had that nickname because things were so wonky in the electoral college. Uh, hmm. I just remember learning it from you. Mm. Oh boy, who, who's it the president in the, the teapot dome stand? This. It says. Um, it said it was Hayes. It was Rutherford B. Hayes, who was the president. In between the Clevelands, is that right, or was that Harrison? You're asking too many questions, Matt. <laughs> you know, I've learned one thing about this show: 
it would behoove me to memorize the president's in order. <laughs> that would get me through a lot of questions on this show. Yes. So maybe that's a weekend project. Dan, when we get yes. back to the studio, we're putting up all the president's pictures on the wall behind us. <laughs> that map Seriously. doesn't help. We Seriously. Need the you know how often I'm like, if I only knew the president's in order. So Dan, when video. I was in... When I was in middle school, I was given an extra credit assignment where I had to say all the presidents in order while holding a burning match. <gasps> no, really? Oh. Was that was that a nun that did that to you? Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I went to public school. Oh. How big is the match? Can you do it now? <laughs> No. How long? Was it one of those long matches? Yeah. It was a regular tiny match. It wasn't a oh. bit. And let me tell you, <laughs> I got that extra credit. I did it. Wow. <laughs> okay, how about I throw you all a bone and we'll get back on track, okay? Okay. At the time, at the time, he was referred to as the first black president. Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton, yeah, that was Bill Clinton. <laughs> Seems kind of silly looking back over that nickname, but that was his nickname. <laughs> Oh my gosh. How about King Mob? Kind of scary. King Mob King Kennedy? Mm -mm. No. Is that a we reference to the movie. mafia? No, like, I, we, we don't know actually. We've not we've never had a rap star as president. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not a good King one Mob. at least. King Mob. King, King Mob. Mob. That I sounds like something radical Republicans would have called, called Lincoln, but maybe I'm wrong. I, I mean, you're you're in the wheelhouse in terms of the right era, Beth. How about I just say the twenty dollar bill, Jackson? That was Andrew Jackson. Yeah, it was oh, King Mob. Okay. He was called. Okay. He's all right. Quite possibly one of the worst. Well, no question, he's one of the worst presidents we've ever had. <laughs> Uh, there's a, a little bit of a clue in this one. How about Ten Cent Jimmy? Carter. <laughs> Wait a minute. James Madison? Um, Jimmy. Is it Jim? Is it James? Jimmy Carter. It's Polk. Madison? Polk? Um, oh, come on. Come on, Mara. Up. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that match is burning fast. No, I don't. You uh -oh. literally named every James president except, except for the correct answer. <laughs> and most, most people know him as um, the first, well, the first only president that did not have a spouse during his term. We just had this question, by the way, yeah. on another show. Monroe? Uh, Monroe? Rutherford. No, uh, Dan's right. Um, wh who was it? James Monroe? Nope. It's not Taft, is it? No. no, what's no. Taft's first name? William. William Taft. Howard. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, William Howard. Just Howard. like James. With that. William Howard. No, it was James Buchanan. Oh, James oh. Buchanan. Yeah, of course. And I was this close to giving a Marvel Studios reference, as in Bucky Barnes, okay? James Buchanan Barnes. Mara would have gotten that. Would have gotten <laughs> that. Same here. Yeah, Baron Ooh, Oh. <laughs> Who is old sink or swim? That sounds like Taft. Yeah, I was going to say Taft. <laughs> Tyler. 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 Nope, you're going to have to go back quite a bit more. This guy who couldn't swim? Old or he was so big he just placed all the water in the tub. Quincy Adams? John Quincy Adams? Uh, you know, I'm going partial credit, Beth. It was the, the original, the OG. Yeah. Uh, John Adams was old oh, sink or swim. Uh, I was going to say that. I really was. <laughs> the only other clue I had there is now that I've actually, because I could never afford to otherwise, um, you know, seen Hamilton on mm -hmm. Disney Plus, whew, John Adams gets roasted uh, quite a bit. <laughs> oh, yes, he does. Taken down. Neither of the Adamses were reelected either. That's right. That's right. I still prefer Gomez. That's a great miniseries. <laughs> the miniseries with Paul Giamatti and Laura Lee on John Adams. It's amazing. That was actually it's really good. Part. How about the dude president? Dude, D U D E. Bobsky? Yeah, right. The dude. 
Yeah. What other answer is there for that question? Yeah. Um, the dude. I know so little about this president. The only other thing I know about him besides his name is that I think in his official portrait, he's got giganto mutton chops. Oh. The Van Buren? Oh. No. Has, um, has he been named yet on the show so far? Uh, I, actually, I don't think so. Okay. Tyler? What a, whoever we mentioned. Oh, I, I can see him right about now, but Brand? I just... No, you said it's somebody that you don't have really right. don't know much about. Um, if, if we were around and we used like semi standardized Western nicknames, we would probably call him Chet. Chester, Chester A. Arthur. Chester Arthur. Arthur, yes. Chester Arthur. Like I said, he plays center field for the Tigers? He was oh. the dude. He was the dude. dude. Not Chet Lemon. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I can't help but say this. That you can do the research to figure out the rest, but the the people that I ran with when I was younger, my buddy used to do some prank calling, and he his go to prank call was pretending like he was Chet Lemon and calling people <laughs> Tigers center fielder Chet Lemon from the '80s. I just where is that coming from? You know, oh, I, I don't know. Yeah, and you said it was a friend of yours. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> friend. Chet Lemon. Chet Lemon. How about the Napoleon of Protection? Wow. So this was a short president? That's a good. I, it has to be, doesn't it? I, although I don't remember hearing that this person was uh, rather short. Jay Maybe I'm. Madison? Theodore Roosevelt? Theodore? No. Monroe? Madison was short. Madison was short, yeah. Not like Hamilton. Monroe was a protector, I suppose. Um, the initials here are WM. McKinley. It was McKinley, yeah. William McKinley. Look what happened to him. <laughs> no comment. All I can think about, as usual, is uh, something from The Simpsons where the joke is that Mr. Burns, the, you know, the miser, is so old that he already lived through McKinleynomics and, uh, you know, whatever that even, you know, means. There's a, one more of these in the traditional way the question's being asked, and I, I think it's a, it's a pretty softball for people of our generation. Um, whose nickname, nickname was Poppy? David Ortiz. <laughs> what was that, Beth? George H. W. Bush was Poppy. H. Yeah, w. That was Poppy. Yep, you got Actually, it. Actually, his nickname, his one of his nicknames was Rubbers because he was a huge, huge supporter of Planned Parenthood. <laughs> wow. Nice. True. Yeah. So here are the bonus questions that came with the set. We have just enough time to do them, and it's actually kind of fun. These are the names assigned by the Secret Service to members of the presidential family, and they're relatively well-known ones. Whose uh, Secret Service nickname was Coppertone? Trump? Trump? Yeah, I'm guess. Yeah. Presidential family members, yes. their nicknames. Bobby Kennedy? She, was she tan or somebody Betty that's dark? Ford? Betty Ford? You, you know, I, I heard Kennedy. It was Rose Kennedy was oh, the nickname oh, of oh, Coppertone. Oh. But I believe for the same reason. You, you may have heard this one before, too. Who was Starlight? Starlight. That's a fairly... Oh. Was that uh, Michelle Obama? Mm -mm, mm -mm. What about one kid? of Obama's kids? No, this actually was uh, First Lady. Is that uh, uh, Michelle Obama? Jackie Onassis? Mm -mm. Nope. Carolyn Candy? Nope. Laura Bush. We can go down the list. Um, Starlight was uh, was puzzling Car for whatever reason. Was, was, who, was it? Who was it? Oh, Pat Nixon. Pat Nixon. Pat Nixon. Pat Nixon. Uh, here's a very very <laughs> recent one. It would be a presidential uh, daughter. Who was Twinkle? Uh, one of the Bush daughters, Barbara. 
Uh, that's a 98% there, Beth. It's Jenna. Jenna Bush was Twinkle. You got a lot of your own name, name, I wonder. Pretty interesting stuff. Pretty interesting stuff. Wow. Uh, I uh, successfully skipped over what this person is predicting um, Donald Trump's long-term nickname is going to be, and we'll come back to that in 20 years and see how history uh, uh, you know, treats our current president here. So the time has come at the end of our show to go back to the list of ATP favorites. We've done our magazines. Um, oh, here's a good one. We've never done this one before. What's your favorite place to go to that's a museum? Ooh. I will, uh, I'll start us off by saying that after 15 years of my wife working at the Henry Ford, it's hard to uh, go to any other museum, even awesome ones like Smithsonian or whatever, and not think about how unique the Henry Ford is and the fact that it's close to where we live. It's pretty interesting stuff. People just don't collect full-sized locomotives like they used to. You know <laughs> I what? beg your pardon, I'm saving up. <laughs> I've got the yard for it. Yeah, my answer would also be nostalgic. So growing up as a kid, we always went to the Detroit Institute of Arts. And I just remember the the sets of armor, just like as a kid, mm -hmm. always loving just going there and looking at those sets of armor. You know, if you try to pull one on, they get really mad. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Mine might be, uh, Pam, you would know this too, in Istanbul. Mm-hmm right that they've uh they have now turned into a um it, it, it's both a museum and a mosque but it's on the world heritage um what's that called world heritage list yep. as yeah, a museum. The Sophia. right the Sophia Sophia. Hagia, and it's now yep. turned into a uh er erdogan has turned it into a back into a mosque that's right people can still go in there but it's a very very uh politicized decision for him to to make that was beautiful. That's been in the news a lot lately. I've seen yeah. pictures of it that brought back our visit to that. Good time, man. Yeah. Well, I'll add, I like the Motown Museum, and I can't wait to see it when it's redone. Mm -hmm. that, that was, I like all the museums you've mentioned, but I'll, I'll throw that one in, in Detroit. That's a great one. At Woodward and the Boulevard. Hmm. I would say... Besides the, all the Detroit museums, um, the British Museum of Natural History is very good in London. So I, have, I just remember that. It's a good experience. Something that pops into my head, and I haven't been there in a long time, is the National Gallery of Art in Washington. Mm, it's great. a beautiful building. So either side of it, there are these rotunda, and they always have beautiful flowers. Also, solarium. Heather, you make me think of every time I have to go to what we in chemistry call the mothership, which is the American Chemical Society World Headquarters, which, by the way, is across the street from Jesuit of the Americas uh, in Washington. <laughs> My wife always asks to tag along, uh, totally abandoning me for the entire trip and just going museum to museum on her own, since, of course, that's her line of work. And the National Gallery is definitely very high on her list. Hey, Leslie. Mm -hmm. You're not using 11.6 funds for that, are you? <laughs> not. Well, not during the pandemic. Come on. Uh, yeah, we can't leave. <laughs> uh, I don't think we've heard from Beth or Dave quite yet. Um, well, I'm, uh, I'm with Pam. I really love um, the Motown Museum and seeing the part of the floor that's worn away from when the engineers were keeping the beat in the DIA, but there's a museum in Oregon called OMSI, which is the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry that was a big hit when I was uh, growing up. Very it was cool. really cool. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm down to three. MoMA in New York. Of mm. course. Uh, oh, gee. Um, the Royal Tyrell in Drumheller, Alberta, which is a great dinosaur museum. It's actually a working lab. And Matt, you might agree with me on this one. Marvin's Mechanical, you know, out of at, out on Orchard Lake. Oh, um, Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical, mechanical Museum. museum. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So all the pinball games. Oh, so I very, can't wait for that to nice. open. So. Yes. Someday. Someday. Soon. I'm afraid we've used up uh, all the time we have for today. So the time has come to say goodbye, Beth. 
Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, Matt? Steven. Oh, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Yes, um, I was laughing. I <laughs> uh, goodbye. Everyone stay safe. Dan. Bye. Heather. Bye. Mara. Bye. Dave. See ya. And Pam. Goodbye. Wear a mask. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now these are the University of Detroit Mercy. I'm assuming you're just going to edit the last bit on, right, Michael? That's correct. Yes, <laughs> that's what I will do. I will do that. Thank Bye. you very much, uh, everybody. This was uh, this was a ton of fun. Thanks for playing with us, Pam. Oh my God, you guys are great. This was fabulous. It's been a rough everything, so this was a great end to the week. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. We'll you get you back in the basement of Briggs. <laughs> okay. Pam, we. Pam. Tried uh, so many years. You've been working really hard on, you know, taking everybody through this, and you certainly deserve some relaxation. So I hope you are getting some and and yeah, I mean, with everybody. Yeah, try to get there. <laughs> <laughs>